Shane, many congratulations. I know you've been waiting for that first goal, so to, to have it under your belt and to have progress in the Capital One Cup must make this a, a very happy night for you. Yeah, it was a, it was a great cup game tonight. You know, 3-2 um, was uh, end-to-end in the second half and, you know, I felt a bit sorry for Stoke in the end because they gave us everything, but it was nice to show our, our character to, to pull through at the end, you know. Getting that goal, something happy for you? Yeah, yeah, obviously I was, I was, it was on my mind getting that first goal, but it's nice when the whole team is playing well and I'm, I'm, I'm coming and making impact and, you know, when we're second in the league, you know, as long as it's someone scoring goals and keeping us up there, that's all that matters. But um, yeah, obviously delighted to get off the mark, but I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't let it get down too much. Graziano Pello will probably steal your thunder once again, though. Only that first goal was was something special, and he's come up with a winner there at the end as well. Yeah, it was funny. Me and Dave were, were just about to give out to him for not passing, then we see him going top corner off the post. So um, yeah, he's got that quality. He can just he can always just fish out a goal, and uh, you know he started the season on fire. And to be fair, the whole team has played well. You know, helped him out and, and creating goals and. Tadic on the left as well is, is good at supplying goals. So, you know, we we got off to a good start now. We've um, we've got a good a good team of players and a good squad of lads as well. So um, hopefully we can build on the start we've had. Talk to me about that game in general because it was the classic game of two halves really, wasn't it? That first half was probably among the best we've seen from this side this uh, this season. Second half, as we do expect from Stoke, was a lot more difficult. Yeah, they went a lot more direct in the second half and really put us under pressure. And, you know, before that first goal went in, it was um, we, were, we were dealing with it well all game and, Obviously, when you're two one up, then you tend to just drop off. And we had a few chances. I had a good chance. Dave had a chance, and um, I think it was was it Victor had another chance. And you know, if we get to three one, it kills off the game. But credit to Stoke, they they kept it kept us at bay, and you know, got that goal. So it, it made it difficult for us. But you know, we've been tested a few times this season now, and we, we've come out. Um, on, on the winning side, so it's um, it's always nice to have that character in the dressing room. This was a different kind of character you had to show today, wasn't it? Compared to the, maybe the ones you showed at home this season, this was a real sort of dig in and, and battle type match for you guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, it was it was hard not to get sucked into playing the long ball and keeping our concentration and passing it out and um, you know trying to turn to, to break through the lines. And uh, you know we've got that quality in the squad where we, we can hurt teams like that. So um, you know it took a, a little bit of a, a messy goal for us to win it, but. Uh, Luckily, if I was Graziano, who will never miss them. Progress in the in the cup is obviously what you're after as well at the start of the day. Um, Sheffield United away in the next round. I don't know if you knew that or not. Um, so it's a it's a winnable game, I guess. Is the is the summary you'd give for that? Yeah, I think every cup game is always going to be a hard game, you know. And um, you know, the way we're at the moment, we feel, feel confident playing any side, but uh, we'll always give them the respect that that they deserve. And Bramall Lane is not an easy place to go. I know that from a Reading day. So um, yeah, hopefully we get a quarter final. It's always exciting for every player to play in, and it's the first silverware we're up for grabs. So, um, you know, we put ourselves in a good position now to to kick on and get ourselves to, to the final, and, and hopefully we can do that. I think we said when we spoke to you before at the start of the season that you've seen how a cup run can can lift a club and can boost a team. Really, having watched from the sidelines, admittedly, as as Hull reached the FA Cup final last year, so that's something I guess you want to replicate here at Southampton this year. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, it, it keeps the, the club on a high. You know, we we're playing well in the league at the moment, but a cup run is always good and. You know, sometimes it gives the fringe players a run out and you see Matty Target come in at left back and it's like he's played there for 20 years, you know, he's, he's a comfortable player and it's nice to, to give the younger lads a run and, and, and show them what, what they have and, you know, it's always it's always nice when they step up to the plate as well and, and, and just slot into the team like they do. For you guys, it's a quick turnaround now though, isn't it, to, to hold this weekend, obviously a, a trip to one of your old sides, so it's good to go there in confidence really after a game like this. Yeah, yeah, obviously playing there I know it's a hard place to go and um you know they haven't got off to a bad start this season as well. I think they're in ninth or tenth at the moment, and you know two good good results in the last two games away at Arsenal and Liverpool. So um, you know they'll be on a bit of a high as well, and they look at this game as a, as a, a good chance for them to pick up a few points. And we know we'll have to be be on the top for a game to, to come away with there with three points. So um, hopefully um, the same to happen that turned up there last year when when I barely seen the ball will, will turn up this weekend. With that goal under your belt now as well, does it give you confidence going forward over the next weeks and months? Yeah, yeah. As I said, it was it was obviously nice to get that first goal, but I, I wasn't thinking about it too much, you know. And as long as I was playing games and winning games, and it doesn't matter who scores, but you know, for, it's it's purely selfish thing that it's nice to get that goal. And as I said, hopefully it is the start of many. But um, you know, as long as we keep winning games, keep pushing on up that table and, and getting firing cups, everyone's happy.